Hey, hello, you're stuck in trial with Wolf Gorlick, a few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at cloud security through the lens of psychology. Right now, a lot of the uh, the young hackers, my friends, right, that I know are having babies. And we, uh, about a weekend ago, stopped off and, and saw one of the little kids, right? And uh, it gives you this unique opportunity to you remember what it's like to have a baby, uh, play a little bit, you know, games like peekaboo and whatnot. And of course, if you're kind of a nerd, tie that all to psychology concepts. So for example, like uh, Peekaboo works because the baby's brain is still developing and it has not, doesn't have yet a concept of object permanence. It's kind of cool, kind of cool. And it also had me thinking about how the importance of psychology from the time the baby's just discovering its world to the time we're, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever, buying and selling and implementing cloud services, how that translates. Because the tip for you is this, Security happens where man meshes with machine. And because of that, oftentimes the way men think, right, the way human brains are wired leads to either a greater degree of security or in many cases a lesser degree of security. And I think we're seeing that now with, with cloud security. The recent surveys show that a lot of you know CIOs and CISOs believe that cloud security would be less secure. Now I'm not gonna argue that debate, but I am very curious as to the psychology of it. And I think it goes back to that concept of um, concept of object permanence, right? If I can't see it, does it really exist? Related to that is object constancy. If I can't see it, do I know if it's changed, right? I haven't seen it for a while. What's changed? I don't know. And, uh, and not having that uh, level of uh, assurances you can touch see feel you know check might lead you to think that things are less secure but the flip side is, of that is also true so because many of us do have a well-developed sense of object constancy for example uh, when we don't see things for a while we tend to assume they're the exact same state we left them in and as we all know from time after time after time of, of uh, security instance, that's often not the case. We thought it was secure, but it's not. We thought that S3 bucket was locked down, but it's wide open. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so it's, it's vitally important to establish um, checks and looks and, you know, activities that give us that concept of viewing into the object and seeing what's changed so that we can act as secure. Otherwise, if we just assume nothing's changed since the last time we looked, or worse, assume that our assumptions about how it's secured uh, continue to exist, we can be in a pretty bad state. I'm sure we're secure because, you know, cloud host provider X or Google, Amazon, they are responsible for security, so we must be just fine. Well, yeah, maybe, but have you have you checked your stuff? Have you, have you went and looked? Hmm. If not, maybe it's a good time to do so. So, in in summary, I think one of the fascinating areas around information security is how psychology helps inform our sense of security and the actions we perform to be secure. And I would argue that a lot of times when people say clouds either are secure or are not, it's all based around their own cognitive biases. What do you think? Hit me up on social media or comments. Cheers.